the brave soldier. Toby lives in a magical underwater world. He rides on a trusty seahorse and does battle with mildly sea monsters. He isn't afraid of anything. However, Toby is such a good soldier that no one invades the kingdom anymore. You must travel far from here, says the sea king, and find new adventures. Don't worry, we will be safe. Toby sets off through the waves in search of adventure. As he travels, the sea becomes shallow and he can't see blue skies above the surface. Blocking up all of his courage, Toby rides into shore. With a flash and a splash, he trusts to see her changes and they gallop across a sandy beach. In the distance, they can hear trumpets and the thundering of horse hoofs. Toby charged toward the sound of battle. At the top of a hill, he stopped to see what is happening. Lots more soldiers are riding across the fields, waving their swords. Join us, he cried. We are chasing a wicked dragon that has burned all of our crops and stolen our gold. Toby can't wait. Off they go. A long time ago, just a bit tighter sea scanner. Beating his lip as he twists a screw into place. He has brought a time machine and today is the big launch day. He has done test runs to his third birthday and back. But now he wants to turn back time by hundreds of years. He climbs inside, locks the door and sets the numbers on the many deals in front of him. Then he closes his eyes and realizes the hungry whoosh. After the dust settles, Kanner unlocks the door and nervously yeah, peeps out. It looks like the cost is clear, but he grabs his sword and shield just in case. Kanner hears a deep rumble and sees Giant. Giant. Footprints ahead of him. Then he sees a dinosaur roaming through the trees. Oops, maybe this is a bit too far back in time. With a few twists of the deals, Kenner is on his way again. Hopefully, the new time he visits will have some other people in it. Sure enough, Kano climbs out of his time machine into a world of princesses who need rescuing. It's a good job he brought his sword and shield after all. All hands on deck. It is a peaceful day on board the good ship Wavy Davy. The cabin boy is busy swabbing the deck. The sailors are having a rest after supper. Captain Davy steers the ship toward the nearest land. He has a very important job to do in the seaside town. He lovers the anchor and rows a horse. Aha, my boy, whispers Captain Davy. He's visiting his nephew, Harry. Are you ready for a good old seafaring adventure? Harry is very excited 
he jumps out of bed and puts on his spirit costume. Will there will be swords and sea monsters? He asked excitedly. Ah, replies Davy, and cannons and cannonballs too. Things aren't going too well on the good ship Wavy Davy. Horik has found the chest with him, with swords and he has found matches too, and lit some of the cannonballs. Quick, put them out, shout the sailors. They haul up buckets of water from the ocean. Ooh, that was close.